y'all it ain't nothing but black women in here it ain't nothing but black women in here getting services um it's a black man in here um three black women on that side and a black man and there's three black women on this side so for them to be like for you to open up your mouth and refuse to help a sister we driving your fucking businesses because i mean in the white community yeah they get their nails and toes done too don't get me wrong but if black women was to stop coming to their shops that shit would affect their businesses in a major way tiny you in Atlanta, Georgia. I know Tiny got her shop where she do nails. The only thing she don't do is toes as far as I heard. But if she if she was to start doing toes and, you know, we have an establishment, black-owned um, nail shops, that can employ black women. You know how many black women would love to aspire to do nails and, you know, do toes and things like that. And then we coming in here spending our money with them. And they mistreating us and then turning around and asking us to come stand up for their ass. Like, it's just really ridiculous. And, you know, honestly, I told myself I almost cried when I asked several people for assistance. It's like, because when I came in here, I was like, damn, I need a, he was like, go pick out your color. I already knew that I wanted to go nail polish. So I went over to the wall and I looked around, but all of their nail polishes was in these bottles that you couldn't see through the bottle. So you have to read every single uh, bottle to see what color it was. So I asked the man, I said, hey, you know, I'm just looking for a regular gold, not with the glitter, you know, a solid gold. Could you find that for me? How hard would that have really been? Because if it was a black person and you got these people asking us for assistance, oh, ma'am, could you find me a green nail polish? Could you find me a gold nail polish? Then they, they would expect that black woman to go and look through all that shit and find you a motherfucking nail polish color that you asked for, especially if you just asking for one simple color, like, oh, can you just give me a gold, can you give me a green, or whatever, and they over there looking at you like, no, I refuse to do, I refuse to do, it's your business. But see, they know we're gonna get our nails done anyway. They know we ain't got nowhere else to go, and we ain't trying to be walking around here looking like Fred Flintstone and shit, so we're gonna get our toes did. And they continue to be disrespectful, so the man refused to help me. Then I went to, um, another woman, I asked her if she could help me. She said no. Then I asked um, another woman if she could help me. She said no. And then I asked a male if he could help me. He said no. Then I asked another male if he could help me and he said no. Then I went back to the hostess at the counter and asked him if he could assist me and he said no. Then the woman who was doing my toes, I asked her if she could help me and she said no. So I just went on ahead and picked out this little gold color that I have or whatever but my thing is it's not even really a gold color you know what I'm saying and I'm pretty sure this is a nail shot with hundreds of hundreds of little bottles of nail polish you could have went and found a gold fucking nail polish and they just show they disdain for us as customers and they just want our money you know and it was sad to see other black women sitting there watching them treat me like that and then they just looking like you know oh I'm gonna spend fifty dollars on a pedicure you know, um, and seeing them mistreating people in the store. Like, I done seen them make a black woman cry um, in Texas at what, uh, whatever, I forget what mall that is. Um, it's a mall in, um, in uh, Texas. I used to go there all the time. Because, um, you know, y'all got Greenbrier Mall here. But in Texas, they got this mall in Houston. And there's like a black mall. I forget what it's called. I got to look it up. And... They, this Chinese lady uh, took this black lady money and said that she was going to do the service and she didn't do it the way that the black woman wanted it to be done and charged her the full amount and the black woman said you know you're not doing it right um, I paid you for you to do it correctly and the woman was like um, well I'm not doing it and I'm doing it the way I want to do and the lady was like but I already paid you but I already paid you and then she was like she was like, I don't care, you can get out of here. And the black lady started crying. And this is a big grown ass black woman and she started crying. And I looked at her and I just had to shake my head and I didn't pay the Chinese lady um, um, the money that she tried to hustle me out of because I asked the lady before, this was the same 
shop and I asked her I said ma'am how much are you charging me um, for for this service she told me um, that she would charge me like $35 so then after I get my my nail fixed I told her exactly how I wanted it she told me how much it would cost she tried to overcharge me um, extra ten twenty dollars and I said ma'am you told me that it was gonna be this amount and then she was like um Oh well, I didn't say that. I said like, yes, you did. I said I wouldn't even have come here, you know, if I felt like you were gonna do that to me. I wouldn't even have came to your shop. And then so, I, what I look like coming into your shop and getting a service, and then not wanting to pay you for your service. I don't do stuff like that. And so, when she tried to upcharge me, I paid her what she agreed to do it for, and I walked up out of there. And they tried to call security and everything, and I got the fuck on. I was like, I don't care. Because you're not finna look at me and think I look like money and then be overcharging me when you already told me a price. And then so um, I actually had got uh, two false acrylic toes because my two big toenails broke off um, in those Cardi B Reebok gym shoes. And cause I kept that shellac on my toes for six months from Texas and it messed up my toenail. And I didn't have them clipped down so I had to get two false nails on. I did that. Um, at a beauty supply store um i think on the west side and so um now i'm in midtown and i i didn't get my services finished when i was in midtown because they kept trying to upcharge me she would tell me oh this is how much it'll cost and then she keep raising the price and raising the price and so i told the lady i said don't worry about it just put on the two false toes and i'll go get my nails painted somewhere else so the only thing they did to me here is just paint the toenails or whatever. Um, they didn't clip them or have to shave them down or anything. All she had to do was apply the polish. So now I'm going to see how much she um, about to charge me, how much they're about to charge me for that. And um, I just feel like we need to uh, try to open up black businesses. And I know that's pretty hard to do in this society. And black people don't really like to spend with black people. And then black people gotta learn how to do the service you know so let me go y'all because i think my toes are done and I, I haven't smoked anything today and i don't want to be stressed out it's pouring out raining outside so let me get the hell up out of here because I, I get tired of these bougie ass black women i get tired of they ass. like you, you see they they just spend up all their money with these motherfuckers i spend my money too but at the same time i'm realizing that we spending our money with these people and we being mistreated and it, it comes to the point where we need to start putting our money together and opening up our own nail shop opening up our own beauty supply store you know and letting our people come and buy from us and that's period and then when we try to do that they try to hurry up and raise the price on all the products that we trying to sell so we really have to find a way to become more self-sufficient um, if that's what we're gonna do because I'll start doing my toes myself and I'll just start wearing fucking weave like if you're gonna mistreat me then fuck it you know we gotta do something about this because they know we need the hair and the nails and all of that and they keep on mistreating us